<laughs> so 16 teams in this WAC, and, and really the first time we're seeing it around the country is now you're going you're gonna to have a championship game in Las Vegas. You survive your side of the division, Chad, and you get a chance to play Wyoming, who, like Utah, was also having a phenomenal season. They were. They were a good team, and we knew it was going to be a big matchup. We couldn't wait to get down to Vegas and show that we were the WAC champs, and it turned out to be... Turned out to be a doozy, went, down, went into overtime. Thank heavens, Henry Bloomfield got a sack at the very end of, or a tackle for loss to give us a chance. And that play right there. Tula Mealy. Tula yeah. Mealy went down, our whole team to a man. Felt that. Yeah. We, went into the, we went into the locker room at halftime. And uh, I, I think most of us did not even want to come out and play in the second half. We were so heart sick for Tula. He was given a blessing and it was, it was a gut check time for our team to come back out and win that game. McKenzie getting into the end zone for the touchdown. It was an electric atmosphere there in Las Vegas. A touchdown there, back and forth, but the Cowboys KO just hung tough. And that's what that's what we want. That's what we want the best. And that's what we, we, we at the end of the game we prevailed. And it was a team win. We never quit. Like like Chad said, man, it was a hit when he took went down. I was distracted. I know a lot of the receivers were, as a lot of the players were. And then through just the, our coaching staff. And through our, 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 I'll be honest, our leaders, man, our captains, man, they, we came back, we fought hard that second half, and we earned that win. Wyoming was 10 and 1. They too are playing for one of their own special seasons. It's amazing how many big teams were having big years against you guys in this uh, uh, magical season. But it comes down to the crunch, and uh, Cowboys holding tough. There's a decision here to go for a safety. Ed, is this a good decision? Um, I don't think so. It did give you the ball back with some time. Yep, that was the mistake, right? BYU, we, we score points. So I don't think that was smart. It would be a good decision Edison. if you played in Canada. Look at that time, <laughs> time running down. I think Kevin's Kaipo McGuire called a timeout right, right, right there going, hey, this game's ending. Yeah. So Potchman, who was oh, solid all year money. long, knocks it in there. And now you go to overtime. Here comes the defense. That's what I'm talking about right there. Still playing rugby for Team USA right there. Henry Bloomfield, beast. For sure. This, to win it in overtime, what was that atmosphere like? Oh, my God. Yeah. Look, we, we understood the Alliance Bowl process, and we wanted BYU to be in an Alliance Bowl, and we were playing for that in that game. That game meant a lot to us. And after the game, we were chanting as a team, Fiesta Bowl. We, we felt like we deserved the right to be there. And uh, so that, that's what that game was about. Fans stormed the field, KO. I think the goalposts might have come down. You're on your way to a New Year's Day bowl. And uh, quite a moment, huh? It's, uh, it's memorable. I can, I can tell you that. I can tell you as soon as that game was over, I think uh, we were celebrating. But we all wanted to celebrate with Itula. Yeah. And uh, Itula's spirit gave us a lot of will to finish that game. Football teaches a lot of lessons, doesn't it? It does. Omar, what's the biggest lesson you learned from this game? Uh, well, this game, I mean, like I said, uh, Lavelle did a great job of us. Like, we just thought we were supposed to win every game. So even if we got down, even if we had some adversity, we just we felt we would come through. And I, that's what I, I am about life. It's just if you get down, you can, you can, you can, you can, if you think this man up above, you'll be all right, man. And he, he did that for us, man. He made us feel... Regardless of what was going on, we was going to be all right, and that's what happened throughout the year.